So where can you find ideas from articles? Well, there's a number of places you can go. And we're going to talk about a few different places for you to get these ideas from today. Now, obviously, you may have an idea about the niche already. You may know something about it and may know what people are interested in. But alternatively, you may want to find some good ideas. So the first thing to do is you can go to Google and you can type your keywords in. So let's say we are, uh, what's our niche going to be? Our niche is going to be dog training uh, collars. Okay. That's our niche. So first thing to do, we can type it in and we can look through these sites to see about getting some good information. So we can look for it in quotes. And maybe we'll find some more here. You can see there's lots of different things. So what we may say is, right, um, well, we could look at this. We could write articles about the shock collar. No idea what it is, but we could go write articles about that. Uh, we could write about whatever this is, the Aboy Stop Kit Anti-Bark Dog Training Collar. So there's plenty of options here. And you can see here there's some other ones here that we could perhaps look at and look at maybe get some information on these. And maybe there's something that we'd want to uh, write about a little. So that's one thing we can do to find ideas. We can go in, look at these, and we can pick out the main things people are interested. Uh, we could also type in, um, I don't know whether this will come in, forum, for example, to put our keyword and forum. So you can see here you are, there's some forums. So we can go to these forums, uh, let's have a look, and find information on these that we could use to, to write our article about. So we might come in and find some points here. So you've got to remember, what we're looking for here is just some sort of ideas on what we want to cover. So there's sort of lots of things there. Uh, I mean, here we can see that Wales has banned electric dog collars. So that gives you an idea for uh, a few articles. You know, you could write uh, an article uh, on uh, for the use of dog training collars, an article against it, an article debating the subject. So, you know, three potential articles just out of that one there. So lots and lots of different options for us to think about here um, from just what we've seen here. So we see there, um, yeah, there's more there, just just here, I don't know, but down here, see this sentence here, dog training collars are often specifically designed and give a weak static shot to the dog. Now that gives me another idea. Could you write an article about are dog training collars a good or bad do idea? Are they cool to the dog? How do they work? Are they effective? So, you know, we've got six or seven ideas right here just from on what we can do. Now, the other place, of course, is we go to an article directory. So we'll call it, we'll go to uh, Easy Articles. Obviously, they're the big one. We all know Easy Articles and love them very much. Um, and we do a search here. And let's see what it comes up with. So here you are. you got uh, How to Train Your Labrador Retriever with the Right Collar, Dog Training Remote Collar, Three Types of Shock Collar, How to Use the Tritronics, dog collar, the Inotech. So there's lots and lots of dog collars here that potentially we could be writing about. So again, what you can do is you can look at these articles and you get some information from there. So yeah, yeah. again, it depends on what we're promoting. If I'm promoting this Tritronics dog collar, then obviously I'm going to write re regarding that. So you can see here, um, it's an effective and trusted brand. Um, Make the voice commands the most important. That that obviously would be useful. Um, brings out the uh, best in dog when it's used properly. Um, and so on. So, okay, you, you see some good information there. So you can probably pull um, uh, information from here that you could use in your article. And you can see as we go through that there are you know, a lot of different articles here for you. So we can find things... Um, we can do some facts about them. You could write, you know, five five facts about dog training collars. Six reasons why you need a dog training collar to train your dog. Um, four reasons why a dog training collar isn't a good idea. So, you know, we've got lots of ideas. And basically, what you end up with once you finish this research is a title. Now, ideally, you want the title to be in the form of a question. 
Um, the reason being that makes it easier for you to answer it. So if your you know, your article is um, how to properly use the Tritronics dog collar, that's not really a question. It's more of a statement. So you know, um, for example, over here we might we might title an article something along the lines of um, Can you really use a dog training collar to stop your dog barking? when it's not wanted to or barking needlessly so there you are basically the reason we're coming up with that as a question at the moment is because it's easier for us to write about it if it's a question that inspires our brain to come up with um, answers basically what we will need to do is we will need to maybe rewrite the title a bit later on but for now we come up with sort of a, a working title that's a question that inspires us and once we've done that we then move on to our actual article writing which is the next video so have a look at ezine articles get some ideas from here go into google look for forums look for sites and look on products so, you know if you're selling a physical product go and find some reviews and um, if you type in reviews there you are you see plenty of reviews there you know, we can look at all these reviews. These reviews may give us ideas. You know, we can take some of the points out of the reviews and even use those as our um, uh, information. So a lot of potential here for you in how to find your ideas. So what we need to do is we, we're going to be writing our articles in batches of 10. 10 is a good number. It's easy to manage for you. It's easy for you to send off to someone later on. It's a nice round number, 10 fingers easy to deal with so we're going to manage these in batches of 10 so you come up with 10 ideas and what you'll end up with is you'll end up with a list of 10 ideas now um, I tend to sort of number them from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on all the way up to 9 so now I've got my 10 numbers if I'm writing multiple batches at the same time on the same niche I may prefix this with a, a letter A, B, C, depending upon the, um, the the actual file. What I will do then is I'll organize it so I've got each of my titles. So let, let's just put in a, a title here. Our title was, um, can you really use, use a dog? Collar to stop your dog barking needlessly. Now you can do this on pen, or on pen and paper, or you can do it on the computer like this in Notepad or whatever. It's entirely up to you. These are your notes. I mean, I've seen some people use mind maps. It's up to you. It depends on how how you want to do it. As I said, I, I work quite nicely with this, like just like this. So. What I need you to do now is go and you've obviously got a niche in your mind, you decide what you're going to write about. So I need you to go and find 10 titles, 10 ideas um, for articles and just write them down in this format. Okay, once you've done that, let's move on to the next video. What I want is I want you to work through this with me because as you do, by the end of it, you'll have 10 articles, you'll be ready to rock and roll. So get your 10 ideas together, just get titles. Um, I mean, ideally in the form of a question, but you can change that later on. The question is more for your subconscious just to help you inspire you and get you these ideas and um, help you make this work for you. So get some 10 ideas together, put them either on pen and paper. Um, notepad's good because you can put spaces between them, which obviously we're going to write more to this in a little while. So get your 10 ideas. Once you've got your 10 ideas, move on to the next video.